What's up? I am just going to uh, grab this lime scooter. Someone tossed it down here, it should be up there. Now I'm just going to literally put this on my back and climb over this thing. Then I'll explain why afterwards. So here we go. freaking did it so anyways i want to tell you why i did that and it wasn't for the instagram not entirely and it wasn't for a show of my strength that uh is obviously lacking because i'm huffing and puffing but anyways reason why i did it i have this code of ethics i have this system that i follow so that i could just behave the best that I can and make the best choices I can. So, I really like the idea of how you do anything is how you do everything. And it goes to like the biggest things or the smallest things. There's been a time where I just seen a rubber band that was just on the floor at the gym, started walk away, walking away from it and then just turned around and was like, how you do anything is how you do everything. And it's something simple. You don't have to do it so stupid, like crazy or over the top. However, I think it's really important to have whatever kind of system of, or code of conduct or define your own code of conduct and really, um, and really even start little and start small. And it's okay if you start little and start small, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I, I seen this freaking lime scooter and I wish I didn't because if I didn't see it, then I wouldn't have done it. And that's the point. <laughs> so it's making the right decisions when you have the opportunity to make the right decisions. So I looked at I'm like, I really don't want to pick that up. So I tried talking myself out of it. Then I kind of like started visualizing how I would do it and how it played out was exactly what I thought, which is pretty freaking cool. But anyways, I just thought to myself that I'm walking by there. I'm a healthy guy. I can just crawl down there. I can pick it up and I can put it over top and put it in the proper spot so that maybe when someone comes by that is not able to do it or they're at risk of injuring themselves, they have to climb down there and then they have to possibly hurt themselves. And I know it's not super cold right now, but if this was like a time where it was really chilly, then that's freaking lame. And I also wanted to do this for accountability because I think it was really important to uh, really acknowledge the wins where you're making really good decisions and you're saying yes to yourself. You're really able to live a life of gratitude and positivity knowing that you did something that will make a little bit of a difference. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of a difference. But even if we're doing the little things, those little things add up as the day progresses. And it feels good. Like I feel good now that I caught my breath, but I feel really good that I put that over there and I could have helped someone that maybe would not have been able to do it and would have hurt themselves. And I kind of thought about it in their shoes or in their circumstance where if they weren't able to and they were down here, it's like freaking, it's pretty steep too. Like it's no joke. So. I thought it was really important. And so I decided to live in alignment with what I believe is a uh, positive, valuable, contributing life and lived up to that and decided to climb over a freaking banister with a lime scooter. So I don't know if this is gonna help you at all with anything, but when you make decisions that's in alignment with your beliefs and who you wanna be, it feels good. It may not feel good when you're picking something up heavy and it feels like a burden, but it damn well feels good afterwards. And those can pair up. 
back to back. So you really get the positive vibes going. And it's like, you really recognize that in the world around you, right? So other than that, I just wanted to have that little shenanigans talk there. And uh, I hope you day treats you as good as you look. See ya.